Gig Log, November 16th, 2013. Heading down to Purdue University. Uh, the reception is at the, uh, the Union. So we're going to see uh, what we got when we get there. But from what I've been told, it's a pretty large room. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, we are going to also attempt a, a hazer tonight and see how that goes. Borrow in uh, the Chauvet Hurricane 2D from a buddy. And we'll see, uh, we'll see exactly how that goes. I don't know if you, can, you can't see him because he's driving and the mount is not in a good spot. But... Uh, Brian's driving, I'm riding. We've got everything in the truck. Uh, we are staying the night tonight, so we are going to attempt to uh, load out and not put it in the truck, but take it to the hotel room, which is in the same building, correct? It's, it's, right it's in the same building, so we're going to load out and, and then we're going to we're going to move some stuff around. So that's going to be fun. So maybe you'll see some some uh, some antics later on in the evening. We'll actually get some end of the night footage. Um, other than that, it's going to be a good time, and I'll talk to you when we get there. Windmills, my friend. Wind turbines. Wind turbines. This old DQ looks like it's still open. Look at that. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. So, are we going in these doors yeah, here? Yeah, right here, I believe. I'm going to see where we need to go. I'm 99, 96% sure. 93.7%. You want to stay here a minute? Sure, I will stay with the car. Alright, so um, reception starts about half hour and we are all set up. We are in a huge uh, ballroom, as you can see behind me. Behind that curtain is the bar lounge area and this is, I'm on the dance floor. See the cake behind me. And then the PA set up. We've got uh, same same setup as the the last wedding as far as uh, lights and everything, but uh, we did incorporate a hazer. We're running a Hurricane Haze 2D. Uh, I'm borrowing from a buddy, so hopefully that'll give us a little bit of you know a little bit more of an effect with the with the gobos. You can also see up on the ceiling right now. I'm just running a a glass gobo that's prismed and rotating. And it's going to look pretty cool, I think, once it, once it gets dark. Uh, the colors are purple, so we're running mostly purple. I got a little bit of blue in here just because. Um, I don't want it to be too purple. There's some blue accents in the room, so that kind of sets off. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when it gets dark, though, because we're kind of stuck with uh, what we got right now, and then it'll get dark later. But um, Super clean setup. I'm going to spin you around here. So we've got, which is really hard to see, maybe it'll come around the side here. We got the tripars with the, uh, the intimidators on top, the mega bars down at the bottom, and, you know, typical, and then our four cans across the back for up lighting behind us. All the wires are as tidy as possible right now. I, I'm thinking about adding some wire loom to the setup just to to clean it up even more but for now it's about as clean as it gets and back here it's it's barely noticeable but it's looking good sounded good big big wood floor head to put the subs into deep mode only because they just weren't carrying in normal mode and you can see our hazers kicking on every so often over here Let's see how this does for the night it's full tank so hopefully uh, hopefully it'll Hopefully it'll take care of it, although we are getting some wetness on the floor already. 
which that might be a problem later. But it's it's uh, it's it's hazing a little bit, and it should look good once the lights are out. So. <laughs> I love it. Let the little guy take the bigger. <laughs> so this is this is what it looks like afterwards. We got we we somehow got this cart from the uh from from street level into the hotel room, which. <laughs> We got subs in between the beds, and uh, lights. And ugly chicks. And then there's speakers around the corner and whatnot. Um, it was a pretty good night. Uh, there were a couple of weird things that I haven't seen before at a wedding, and we were in a large ballroom, which you know you saw, but there was this wall. There was this like they put curtains up. They lit the curtains, look real pretty, but it separated the bar, the photo booth, and everything from the actual event, or from the from the dance floor area. So, instead of it kind of having a cohesive feel, as far as go get your drinks, come back to the dance floor feel, it was like, people would get over by the bar, and then they would stay over by the bar, or people would be dancing, and it just wasn't, it was weird. The, uh, it was weird. But... It was a good night, and finally got to throw the uh, the intimidators out and actually see what they'll do in a large room, and they were super impressive, really impressive. Um, and using Luminaire, it was really quick to set up some some quick scenes. We were able to put some spotlights because we knew what where the toasts were gonna be. <laughs> you son of a bitch! We knew where the toasts were gonna be, and. Uh, we kind of had that pre-programmed, so we just hit a button and boom, we had the spotlights there. Uh, we were using the the hazer. I'm a, f I have a feeling there's fog juice in there, and not uh, haze juice, because it made an absolute slimy mess over everything. Um, the floor was slippery. I ended up using napkins and stuff underneath it to try and sop it up, and it was pretty bad. So, and I, I'm thinking it's only because the the juice was too heavy. It wasn't the right juice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna find out about that because the hazer would be great, but if it doesn't work, oh god! <laughs> the, Jesus! Oh, I can't I can't talk I can't breathe. Oh, can you open the window too? Yeah, you get all the fans on. Oh my god! We still have to go to the bars and get some. Tacos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so beautiful place, beautiful room. Um, I don't know. What do you, what do you guys, you DJs that are out there? I mean, I know we're we're still relatively new to the game. Only been doing it for you know, a little over a year. Well, at least I've been only doing it for a little over a year. Um, what do you guys? How do you, how do you how do you deal with bossy event coordinators? That one's... How do you deal with bossy event coordinators? How do you feel... Do you feel like you could do a better job at coordinating a wedding and putting together a room than uh, everybody that you run into? Because we kind of have that feeling. Not that we want to do that job because, God, that would be an awful job to have. But it seems like every room we get into, it's like, why would you do this? Why would you even think about it? Why would you even give them an option to do this? Um... I don't know. Leave your comments. I need some comments. Tell me how you deal with bossy event coordinators or just semi-professional coordinators. Um, yeah, so that's that's it for the gig log. And uh, I don't know. We got another one next month. We'll see you in December. December 21st, which is going to be cold and snowy probably. 
So, uh, yeah. To the next one.